So, yeah. So, I'm Budo Kanrindo, a final year student of Mathematics KNUST. So, today we are going to discuss countable sets in the Lebe Outer Measure. Okay, and this happens to be our second lesson in the study of row functions one. So, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, so that you'll be notified of future videos. So countable sets, let's start with what a countable set is. So we, we are seeing a set E is said to be countable if it is equipotent to the set of natural numbers. So that means the key terms here are equipotent and natural numbers. So I hope you all know what natural numbers are. So natural numbers can be constructed from one, two, three, four. So you know it is countably infinite. So then equipotent means that there is a one-to-one -one mapping or correspondence. So whenever we have a set of this form, then that set is said to be countable, okay? So in simple terms, a countable set is a set with the same cardinality. That's the number of elements as some of the subsets of the set of um, natural numbers. So of the set of natural numbers, okay? So we can give some examples of countable sets. So this set A here is a countable set because you know you can see that it is a subset of natural numbers, right? So this set A here can be said to be a countable set. You know, this set here can also said to be it can also be said to be a countable set, right? This is also a countable set. You can see it has a one-to-one -one corresponding with the set of natural numbers. And this here is also a countable set. So someone might ask, yes, this is a countable set because maybe you can count the number of elements here. Also, you this you can count the number of elements here, but this you can't count the number of elements here. So why is it a countable set? So one thing I should know that the sets of natural numbers is countably infinite. That means you can count, but you can never finish counting it, right? So when you have something like this, you can count it, and you can also not finish counting it. And it's equivalent to the set of natural numbers. So we say it is countable. So it says, note, a set that is either finite or countably infinite is said to be countable. So that even answers the question. <laughs> so that's what a countable set is. So now let's go to the Dele B outer measure. Lebeg. So it's a noun. You can pronounce that the Lebe or some also pronounce as the Lebe outer measure. Okay, the Lebe outer measure. So um, there's some definition. You can just look at it. So this is the outer measure of A, denoted, and um, is denoted to be the infinitum of all such norms. So when you reach with the definition, all right. So. That is not really what we want to focus on this video. There are some key points that we are going to focus here. So you can look at the definition. So one key note you take here is that the outer measure of any interval is its length. Okay. So if the outer measure of any interval is its length, then how do we find the length of an interval? So let I be an unempty interval of row numbers. So we define its length, which is noted here. So this stands for the length um, to be in 
infinity if i is unbounded so in our previous video we talked about what uh, we may say a set is bounded or an interval is bounded or not and otherwise define it length to be the difference of its endpoints okay so if it is bounded then you define the length to be the difference between the endpoints the boundaries so let's take some examples we say it's find the following you are supposed to find the outer measure of this the outer measure of this and the outer measure of this as well okay so you can see this is an interval right so the first thing we have to ask ourselves is is this interval bounded or not so you can see at the left side it is bounded by negative two by the right side it's not bounded right so that means this interval is unbounded so since it's unbounded it means its outer measure or it which is the same as its length it's going to be this but you can see that this is bounded to the left side and also bounded to the right side negative one and five so that means it length is going to be the difference between its endpoints okay so um five minus minus one which will give us six we decide to do it minus one minus five this, is, this will still give you six so that means that the outer measure of this interval is six then the third one says the outer measure of two but you should know that two is a point it doesn't have any length so the outer measure of two will be zero so this should let you know that the outer measure of any point right of any number like two three four five six thousand is zero because it doesn't have a point so that's it then let's take some properties so the outer cover of the null set is zero so someone can ask you why so this is because the null set doesn't have any what length okay then the outer measure of a is also zero where a is a subset of a set of real numbers so there's something later on countable sets and the the bare outer measure that you can take note of okay so our next video is going to be on measurable sets what we mean when we say a set is measurable and how to show that a set is measurable okay and probably maybe we might do one or two proofs and so this is the end of our second lesson of row functions one i hope you enjoyed it so please don't forget to like the video and see you another time.